Crash. I love hearing the sound of another breakthrough. Or is your crash more of a case of hitting a brick wall over and over till your head hurts? We're going to talk a lot about the different stages of business today and the ways in which I can help you to break through those walls, go through them, go over them, whatever it is that you need. So stay tuned. See you in a moment. Welcome to the Leverage Business Podcast, where we believe business success is about working smarter, not harder. Leveraging your time and expertise in ways that fit the digital age you and your clients live in today. I'm your host, Jay Allison, author of Leverage Consulting in the Digital Age and founder of the iSuccess Business Academy. And every week I'll be sharing insights into how you can apply the power of leverage to grow your consulting, coaching, or other expert services business and create true freedom and independent success with mindset, marketing, and money model breakthroughs. Because when you get leveraged, the sky's the limit. Let's go for it. Hi, today we're going to be talking about hitting walls and bottlenecks and barriers and see where we can break through them. So I start off with this sound. Can you imagine like crash? Um, people are like sitting at their desks every day going, oh my God, you know, ah, oh, tearing their hair out over and over, bashing your head against that brick wall till your head really hurts. <laughs> your ability to think, to run, to hide, to focus, it just all goes out the window. And you just reach the time where you start questioning whether or not this is even going to work for you. So one of the big questions I ask when talking with a potential new client is this, what's your wall? We'll need to have a bit of a laddering conversation to get to the root cause. And it works a lot better though, that question than the usual, tell me your problems kind of uh, therapy, uh, or typically what are the current challenges? It's sometimes really hard to, to answer that, to dig into that. It's a bit broad, isn't it? So we'll look at the steps to getting clients and use that as an anchor for our um, deep dive into where your wall is. Is it traffic? Is it leads? Is it conversion? Because without understanding where you're getting stuck and why, it's pretty darn hard to get past that wall. So what have you tried? Who have you followed? Have you talked to anyone about it? Did you get good answers or did you just go round in more circles? What I love about what I do, and it's totally my genius zone, if I say so myself, is I'm really good at helping business owners pin down exactly where the business bottleneck is. And part of it may be some personal barriers. Let's face it, we all have demons, right? We all have things that we find easy and things that we find really freaking difficult, yeah? Well, I've done a lot of enrollment conversations over the years, so I've probably heard it all before. Um, I've done it for my digital roadmap program that I run for corporate clients. And I've also done a ton of those strategy type calls for the program I coach on for another big company. And for the Leverage Business Accelerator, which is my own program for small businesses and solo professional service providers. And the key question I always ask is, what specifically do you feel is holding you back from achieving the success you want? And yes, it's a big question and we'll always start the conversation talking about your big business vision, you know, in real terms, in real life terms and the goals. And, and my favorite question there is what would success look like for you? But at the end of the day, the crunch time comes when I start asking questions about bottlenecks because there's always a specific one or two things that stop someone pulling the trigger or making the progress that they want. And importantly, how is the bottleneck playing out in your business and how is it impacting your life? How much urgency and commitment do you have to making that breakthrough, to really getting the support that you need? Now, I'm guessing you also want to hear what the common answers are, right? If I've done that many interviews with people. Well, there's three interrelated mindset barriers. And that's lack of clarity and confidence, confusion, overwhelm and stress, and paralysis by analysis. And there are the business walls to break through too. And these are specific stages that you go through to acquire a customer. I talk about it in my book as the engage, educate, enroll pathway. 
but essentially it's the three core functions of business, attracting an audience, generating leads and converting to clients. My clients and potential clients are all ambitious, driven business builders who always have a huge long list of things they're doing in their marketing or feel they should or could be doing. And yet they're spinning their wheels. They're working crazy hours or feeling frustrated at the lack of results or just plain stuck, not knowing what to do. The to-do list will often include producing content, posting on social media, SEO, emailing, running webinars, doing lives building web pages and funnels, and a million other things everyone else seems to be doing. It's an endless treadmill of content and confusion, more content and no conversion, more content and no cash flow. These activities may not drain your bank account in terms of costs, but they certainly drain your energy and your time, and that will cost you in a different way. It's easy to see why you might feel lack of clarity, overwhelm, stress and paralysis are the biggest things holding you back but it doesn't have to be that way. Success is a choice that's totally yours. Totus tuus, as they say. It's a choice about doing what needs to be done and doing it. It's a choice about not doing some things. It's a choice about getting the help you need to do the right things and do them well. But let's get absolutely clear on one crucial thing. Your only goal when it comes to acquiring customers, clients and sales consistently and predictably is building out one funnel that works. That's it. One campaign that fuels your end-to-end customer journey or funnel, that is your process for engaging, educating and enrolling clients. Get one thing working and delivering you a stream of leads and clients and then ramp up the content marketing, ramp up the ads, ramp up the delivery capacity and preferably control the volume that comes through that funnel. I have a few cheaters on that one. Most people who are struggling don't even consider. How would it make you feel if you could stop doing 80% of what you're doing and do the 20% of things that make 80% of the difference to your success? Pretty liberating, huh? You shouldn't be putting any focus on all those other time-sucking activities until you have a system in place that can feed your business. Those three steps that I talked about, attracting an audience, generating leads and converting them into customers. That's a system that's workable, dependable and profitable. And all of those time-consuming and overwhelming tasks I mentioned above have their place and are valuable at the right time. But making decisions alone on choosing what to focus on and where to spend your finite time can be costly. And one of the best ways I've found to gain clarity and confidence in the right strategy and get the action plan to implement it is not to go at it alone. Get a mentor. In my book, I've quoted hundreds of people who I've learned things from and a few of those who have mentored me. A remark by Richard Branson that I share in the final pages really struck me. He said, Whenever I am asked what is the missing link between a promising business person and a successful one, mentoring comes to mind. If you're looking to make your way in business, find a mentor. Because like many successful people, I've learned that success is a team game. Very few of us get to where we want to go, going it alone. So here's a poignant question for you right now. If the situation of confusion, frustration, overwhelm or lack of confidence or procrastination on moving forward resonates with you. Imagine if your current barriers were removed. What could you accomplish? How much more driven and determined would you be if you were clear on the plan and not wasting time spinning your wheels on stuff that isn't really moving the needle? How confident would you be knowing that someone's got your back? If for every problem there was a solution, a way to push through or pivot and help to make those decisions at the right time, wouldn't that make a big difference? You're committed enough, yeah? You should be unstoppable, wouldn't you say? Because learning marketing is one thing, applying it is an entirely different challenge. Creating a course or a program is one thing, selling it is a whole other capability. Getting a strategic plan, guidance and support from a mentor or coach is the best way I know to fast track achieving the success you want. If you're suffering from confusion, frustration, exhaustion, working in your business and you're not achieving what you set out to achieve, 
or if you know you're missing the alignment systems and sales skills to generate leads and enroll clients, or if what you have in place just isn't consistent or reliable, then here's an unparalleled opportunity for you. The next wave of my Leverage Business Accelerator program is starting soon, and I'm holding a spot open just for you. If you want in, you can actually spread the cost over three months at no extra cost. So my Leverage Business Accelerator program is a 12-week program that simply packages together three months of full mentoring and access to resources. I'm super excited to see our next group charge forward. In LBA, we work together and tackle head-on the big success outcomes you're looking for that have been evading you till now. And these are the three goals. One, get you new clients who are better, more ideal clients. Two, find the best and most efficient way to work with them to deliver the result they desire. Three, help you package, price and sell your offer so you're earning what you're worth from serving them. I've helped hundreds of organizations and businesses with digital transformation that achieves all three of these success outcomes. Strategic planning, operational improvement, marketing and sales funnels, those are my areas of expertise. In fact, this is what you can learn in my book, Leverage Consulting in the Digital Age, how to build and grow a successful service business in an increasingly competitive marketplace. And if you want help to implement these ideas and approaches in a way that fits your specific business, plays to your specific strengths and celebrates your true value, I would love to collaborate with you so you can break through to success. If clarity, confidence and cohesion are what you need help with from a coach or mentor who's been in the trenches for my own business and countless others just like you, then let's talk about your wall and how to get past it, through it or over it. What are the current bottlenecks to your business growth? Not some generic how-to tactics on this thing or that. I have this program which is very much tailored to what it is that you need to solve what it is that's going to work for you, for your target market, your offer, your best platform, your best sales system. What you'll get past is no confusion about what to do. We'll be doing the right things in the right ways. No overwhelm or wasted time. We help you build on existing strengths, assets and methods that convert. No getting stuck on tech. We help you choose it, solve it or get around it. No lack of confidence, wondering if you can do it. We've got your back. No going it alone. This is going to be fun. Hard work required, but way nicer working on it with others. This is the promise when you join my Leverage Business Accelerator program. So the link to apply for a spot is jallison.com forward slash isuccess forward slash LBA. And it starts just with a conversation. There's no buy now button for this. I want to talk to you. I want to make sure that I really am a good fit for you, that I can help you, that what you're up against is something that I know I can help you solve. So I'm totally committed to your success. Let's have a conversation. I'm not saying I success and my approach is the only option. Of course not. And I'm not saying at this point that I'm definitely the right coach or mentor for you. That's for us to find out. But you've listened to this podcast now maybe for a while, and you've listened to this episode. So if anything I've said resonates with you, you can at least have a conversation with me and see if we're a fit. There's a little bit of an ethical bribe here as well, because everyone who books and attends a discovery call with me will get a promo code to get a free audiobook edition of Leverage Consulting in the Digital Age, or a downloadable PDF copy if you prefer. And if you want or need convincing that the Leverage Business Accelerator is a good fit for the structure, clarity and implementation support you need, check out our general iSuccess page that tells you a lot about the curriculum. Um, It's kind of like a, a, a prospectus, if you like, for the program and the way that I work. So that's it. A really short, sharp promo kind of episode today. Um, but I just really want to make sure that people understand what my program is all about and how it fits everything that we cover in the Leverage Business podcast and in my book and make sure that you're actually implementing the solutions here and actually getting results, that it's actually changing how you do business and the success that you see. 
I'd love to work with you and collaborate. So that's it from me. I shall see you next week with the usual topic stuff. Ciao, ciao for now. Thank you for listening to the Leverage Business Podcast. Want to create leverage in your business? Did this episode provide some insights and ideas to be thinking through? If so, subscribe so you get alerts when the next one's released. If you want to learn more or would like help and support with building a leveraged business that achieves true freedom for you, then head over to jallison.com forward slash podcast to find all the resources and links that go with this show on my website and to join our iSuccess community. And if you're enjoying our content, it would be great if you could pop into Apple Podcasts or the app you listen from and leave me a rating and review. Everyone makes a difference to improving our rankings. So thank you if you've done that already. I appreciate you. So, hey, that's it. Thank you for listening. I hope you've loved this episode and have some great takeaways to be thinking through. I wish you a pleasant, productive and profitable week. And I'll see you again next time for another episode of the Leverage Business Podcast.